It's paint it black night for ECU baseball. Pirates had a big time Tuesday night home game with UNC Wilmington this evening. Seahawks beat the Pirates in Wilmington 8 to 5 two weeks ago, so ECU out for revenge. Beautiful sunset in Greenville this evening. Pirates defense looked sharp at times tonight. Alec Makarevich turns a double play to get out of the fifth inning. And then later, next inning, Justin Wilcoxon guns down a UNCW runner at second base for the out. But the Seahawks bats were hot tonight. Alec DiMartino. And the crowd would watch on and see DiMartino loft a ball to center. That would drop and score a run for UNCW. Later, Trevor Marsh drives in another run. Just wasn't the Pirates' night tonight. ECU falls for just the second time at home all year. 9-3. to three. Seahawks sweep the season series with the Pirates, and ECU drops to 3-5 and five in midweek games this season. We got beat in all three phases. I just told Coach O I thought UNCW was more ready to play than us, which makes me want to throw up. It's my fault. I'm the head coach, so that's my job. Um, but until our guys want to show up and, and get in the fight a little bit earlier um, against a really good team, but also an in-state team. We just haven't played well in the midweek, and UNCW's kicked our butts twice. ECU baseball begins conference play this weekend as the Pirates head on the road for a three-game road series at Houston starting on Friday. High school baseball rivals north side of Beaufort County was at south side this evening. North side Panthers are 9-1 and one to start the season. Seahawks coming in at 6-5. and five. Top of the first, Jarrett Spruill, a two-run RBI single. That brings in Carson Klinkscales and Eli Huynh. Two to nothing north side. Bottom of the inning, Seahawks strike back. Walker Hill, Seahawks quarterback for Southside, lofts a ball into right. That drops, and Carson Edwards scores. That was the only run Southside could muster today. Ashton Willard brings in two more runs for the Panthers. Northside rolls 13 to 1 to get to 10 and 1 on the season. Men's College Hoops, Farmville Central alum Terquavion Smith announced he will be entering his name into the NBA draft in June. Smith averaged 17.9 points a game along with 4.1 assists and 3.6 rebounds a game for NC State during his sophomore season. So after two productive years in Raleigh, Smith is deciding to go pro. NFL scouts were in Greenville this morning for ECU football's Pro Day. 12 Pirates trying to prove they're worthy of playing in the NFL. Some of those names included D.H. Conley alums Holton Aylers, C.J. Johnson, and Wes Cravens. Chandre Mims, but all eyes were on Holton Naylor's, the AAC's all-time passing yardage leader, threw at the pro day and looked sharp. He also he's also hoping his Birmingham Bowl MVP, Senior Bowl MVP, and NFL BPA Bowl MVP awards will help him and on his case and get looked at by NFL scouts in the positive light. I felt like I threw the ball really good, and um, you know, obviously, I felt like I ran good. But you know, the big thing for me is just throwing, uh, you know, talking to teams, and uh, I felt like I could show that I could do some things that you know maybe I didn't show during the season or didn't get the chance to show. So I feel good about it. Running back Heaton Mitchell did not run the 40 today, but he participated in all the other drills. He says he's heard anywhere from third to fifth round that he might be drafted. He has meetings with four NFL teams in the coming weeks. He said he used today to show off his skills as a punt returner. And finally, high school football news. North Lenore High School announced that it has hired Larry Dale II as its next head coach. Formerly with Washington County last season, Dale becomes the third coach in the last four seasons at North Lenore. That is your take on sports. Back to you guys.